Hey guys, it's Kelly and Hannah. Today we're going to teach you guys what it is that I bring to my client's home when I do my mobile tan. So we're going to look at the setup, how to unfold the tent, and exactly what I bring in my little duffel bag that makes it super easy for me to come to my client's house. So this is the bag that I have. I have everything that I'm going to possibly need for my clients and I in here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the bag and show you exactly what I have. The most important thing to remember is to bring your machine. So I have a mini machine. It's very small, very portable, but still um, very durable. I love this machine. I've had it for so long and I have had zero problems with it. So as you can see, it's really tiny, very light too. So I go ahead and plug this in, and I'll put this right on top of the towel. This is the cord that comes along with it, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. And for now, I'm going to leave my gun right on the inside holder of the tanning machine. So any machine should have a holder for you just to make it a lot more convenient. Um, I would suggest if you're looking for a machine, find a machine that has that because it has been a lifesaver for me. So I'm going to put this to the side while I'm getting everything else out. I carry all my necessities in a little bag and so the main things that I carry are sticky feet. If I don't have these it's okay. What I'll use is barrier cream for underneath the feet to avoid um, the client getting anything underneath their feet as far as the solution or over overspray goes. The second thing is makeup sponges. This is for any um, streaks that may occur, blotches that may occur, any imperfections that may occur throughout the tan. I'll go ahead and fix it with that. You'll want to carry around some hair nets. And I also carry around um, a couple of cotton balls, Q-tips, and all the FDA approved items. So, um, Winkies would be one of them. I also carry Vaseline. Here are some more Winkies with um, nose filters for your clients. And I also carry disposable underwear. So this one's a bra. This is a thong for my clients. And also, um, if you guys have males that you guys help, you guys want to get male thong, or male, <laughs> you're going to want to get male underwear for your clients. So typically, Speedos would work perfect. The last thing I have in this bag is baby powder. If you don't use baby powder, I would recommend looking into it. And basically, especially during the hot days like today, it would help your clients from any perspiration that occurs underneath the arms, underneath the breasts, underneath their butt, and in the crevices of their bodies. So this really helps absorb that. And this is something that you would put on after you tan your client. So moving on to some of the solution bottles and how I carry them. I have extra containers for my solution and typically I'll put the different DHA percentages in each uh, solution container. So for example, this one would be a 6%, this one would be a 9%. And I also have um, smaller bottles sometimes, so I'll carry these around too and this would be a 12% for example. You can also carry rapid tans, different types of solutions, so just depending on what it is that you're wanting to provide for your clients. As a reminder, never put your old solution that you're going to be tanning your client with back into a fresh bottle. It's always recommended to put it in one of these bottles and label the date and the percentage as well as the brand of solution that you're using. On the other pocket, I have prep spray, so this is prior to tanning your client. And I also have barrier cream, so it's more of like a thick lotion that I have the client apply to the bottoms of their feet, their palms, their toenails, their nails, 
and sometimes even on their elbows and their knees, very lightly on those areas just to avoid those areas from getting too dark. And finally, this last pocket, I'm gonna have all the stuff that I need. So I have a couple of masks. I highly, highly recommend, especially if you're doing a tanning party or more than one individual to carry a mask, definitely. As well as some gloves. And a couple other things. I carry these, you definitely need to have some baby wipes or, or some sort of um, towelette to go ahead and wipe off their palms, their toenails, and their nails post tanning them, so that way they can avoid any um, overspray from getting on those areas. I also carry around retail products. So tan extender, body wash, and exfoliator are my three biggest sellers, so I'll go ahead and carry around a couple of these depending on how many clients I have for the day. That is pretty much all I have in here. I don't think I'm missing anything, but if you guys have any questions about anything, please let me know. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty simple once you get the hang of it. I would recommend if you're a beginner to bring a checklist with you just to make sure you have everything on hand. Um, and of course, if you guys have any questions, reach out. Happy tanning.